Hello everybody and welcome to opening night of the Diamond Decades Dead Ball season. I know there are those that are looking forward to this and I am looking forward to this as well. Uh, there wasn't very many comments about what games should be picked to be played so I'm just gonna kind of wing it here and go with a uh, Pittsburgh 09 Pittsburgh versus 1915 Philadelphia. So it'll be a National League game, an NL game. And so what we will do is we will get this we'll get this puppy started. We will go to game simulcast. And the game we want to start with is this 1909 Pittsburgh and 1915 Philadelphia. And uh, we're going to just have everything else auto set up. Again, if you uh, saw my video on the uh, game simulcast feature, this is basically how you set it up. Again, you know, and uh, I apologize again that the quality of that video was not not as great sound-wise. So I'll be going over a couple of the things that I mentioned during in that video for you again here tonight as we play. So that, and uh, I did remember to turn the volume of my sound down. So with that in mind, let's get it going here. Starting lineups. First for 1909 Pittsburgh, we have Borbeau, Leach, Clark, Wagner, Miller, Albitine. Again, I apologize if I mispronounce any names. Please do feel feel to feel free to correct me if I do because I. I'm not as familiar with some of these players as others are, so please do feel 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 free to correct me. Then we have Wilson, then Gibson, and Vic Willis, who will be pitching for 1909 Pittsburgh. For 1950 Philadelphia, we have Bobby Bine, Dave Banscroft. Haskert, Kravath, Ludrus, Witted, Niehoff, Kilfer, and Alexander. With Pete Alexander pitching for 1915 Philadelphia. These are both right handed pitchers. I will be letting the AI run all the managerial decisions so that this game flows seamlessly. So let's play ball. Replay Radio is live from Philadelphia. Top of the first. And here we go. Pete Alexander takes his spot on the mound. And we are ready for some baseball here tonight. Leading on four. 1909 Pittsburgh is Jeff Barbeel. And here's the pitch. Ground ball to third base. Quickly throws to first, and there's one down. One out, base is empty. Leach steps in. His first at bat of the season. the pitch. Ball hit to the first baseman. Possible infield single. So what we're going to do here is we're going to roll one die. And if it lands on one or six, he's out. Hey. And it's a five. He's an infield hit for Leach. One out, men on first. The defense is playing in at the corners. So now one out and one on. 
And here's Fred Clark. Again, as you see, as we play, all these other games that are going on are playing right with, along with us here. That is what Game Simulcast is all about. It is great. And there's going to be a steal attempt on here. 1909 Pittsburgh's going to attempt to steal. So we're going to roll two dice. And it is, as the roll is not higher than the pitcher's hold rating, he holds one out, man first. on first. The defense is playing in at the corners. So here's Clark now. Clark will bat. And here's the pitch. There's a short fly out to left field. Two outs, man on Two first. Outs and a runner on first still. Thomas Wagner steps in. And here's the pitch. Ball hit the shortstop. Possible error. We're going to roll against the, uh, sh the error rating of the shortstop, which is Bencroft. Which is in his ratings of 26, and that one is going to be an error. Leach moves up to second, and Wagner is on at first. Two outs, men on first air. and second. Here's Miller now, and the pitch. Oh, ballpark effect. So here, in, in this case, Baker Bowl. There is no way that this is going to be a hit. There's no chance of this being a hit at all. But we roll it anyway. It's a fly out. Two right. It's going to be two sides. No runs. Is one over. hit, one arrow. And two left on. So no runs, one hit, and one error, and two left on for Pittsburgh. For 1909 Pittsburgh, we go to the bottom of the first. Bottom of the first. And away we go. Byron will be the leadoff hitter for 1915 Philadelphia. And here's the pitch. Outer single ballpark effect. In this case, there is a one in six chance of this being a single. It has to run in all six. It's a four and it's a fly out to left. One out, base is empty. So one out. Bancroft, the hitter now. Here's the pitch. Pop out to the third baseman, and there's very quickly two up and two down. Two outs, base is empty. And here's Pascal now. Away on. Here's the pitch. Ball hit to third baseman. Over to first, and it's a one, two, three. We go down quietly. First. Nothing doing this half After inning. After one, we are still scoreless. Top of the second. So top of the second now. And leading off for 1909 Pittsburgh is Epstein. Epstein. Ball hit to the second baseman. Another possible error. We're going to roll against that error rating, that field, fielding rating of the second baseman. It is not higher. There is no error. A ground out. One out. One out. Base is empty. Chief Wilson will be the next batter. Second base, over to first quickly, two up. Two outs, base is empty. Here's George Gibson now, and here's the pitch. Ball pull. And three. there is a two out walk for Gibson. Two outs, men on first. Now the pitcher comes up, Willis, the pitcher. 
have here. Well, we have a column five re roll. There could be a pitch, a pass ball, or something here. It's a three pitch in dirt. Pitch Two outs, dirt men on block, first. No advance. So now the pitch roll bat. Ground out, pitcher to the first baseman. And that no is runs, the no end. hits, and one left on. Middle of the second here. Bottom of the second. Pittsburgh zero, Philadelphia zero. Leading off for 1915 Pittsburgh, or excuse me, 1915 Philadelphia, is Kravitz. Hit to the second baseman. Out at first. Over to first. One and out. Space is empty. Ball. Fred Lieber is the hitter now. And here comes the pitch. There's a double in the corner. And Lieber has himself a double. Here one, out, one out. Man on the second. Bottom of the second. Witted the hitter now. Lures takes his lead. Here's the pitch. Ball hit to the second baseman. A possible error again. We're going to roll against that fielding rating. The error rating is not higher, so there is no error. It's a ground out. Lures moves to third. And there's two, two outs. Away. Men on third. on third, and there's a pop out to the third baseman. And no runs, end. one hit, and one left on. After two, top of the third is scoreless. Look at the out of town scoreboard here. In the bottom of the second, Boston leads Cleveland one to nothing. Philadelphia. Excuse me, New York and Philadelphia tied at one in the bottom of the second. Detroit and Washington scores. Brooklyn and New York. Brooklyn leads 1-0 in the top of the third. Chicago. Both Chicago teams playing in the top of the third. Base is empty. Fred Clark, the hitter. Here comes the pitch. And he's it's, it's no runs, three, one hit, and none left on. The bottom of the third. Bottom of the third. Bill Killifer, the hitter, to lead things off for 1959 Philly. Philadelphia in the bottom of the third. Six by three is the rule. Pop out to the third baseman. One out, base One is away. empty. Pete Alexander, the hitter, is the pitcher, and he's up. And here's the pitch. Five, two, six. Three. And that's a strikeout. Two away. Two outs, base is empty. And that brings up Bobby's Bobby Byer. Two outs in the bottom of the third. And here's the pitch of 5-3-4. And that's a walk. Two out. 
two outs, men on first. So let's see what 1915 Philadelphia can do here with a man on first and only two outs. And Bancroft is there. He rolls a 1 1 3, and there's a strike out, and the inning is over. Still nothing doing for no the runs, team. No runs, no hits, three. and one left on. And we are still, most, we're still knotted up at 0 0. Top of the fourth. We go to the top of the fourth inning here in Philadelphia. Pete Alexander still out there on the mound. Honus Wagner, the batter to lead things off for 1909 Pittsburgh. A 3 3 6 for Wagner. And that's a line out to the second baseman. One out, bases empty. And there's one away. And here's Miller now with one out. 5-3-6, Ball four. and he works. So a one-out walk here for 1909 Pittsburgh. One out, men business. on first. The defense is playing in at the corners. Bill Epstein, the hitter, but there's going to be a steal attempt here. And he is... Oh no, it's a sacrifice. Oh no, it's a stolen base. And a possible throwing error. It is an error. No one moves all the way to third. One out, man on third. They brought the infield in. So with one out, the go-ahead run on third, 90 feet away for Pittsburgh. And absolutely at the plate. 6-3-1. He starts out two away. Two outs, men on third. Here's Chief Wilson. The pitch. 5-5-1. Five, five, and field single. And Miller will score. It is 1-0 in 1909 Pittsburgh. Two outs, men on first. So 1909 Pittsburgh able to draw the first blood here in the top of the fourth inning. And here's George Gibson now. And we have another column five re-roll here to deal with. It's a pass ball. Potential. Got a roll against the pass ball rating of the catcher. If it's higher than four, it's a pass ball. It's not. He has a two. He is held. Two outs, men on first. So now George Gibson will bat. He'll take his swings. 3-6-4, Harden, right-handed pitcher, leaping one catch. One run, one hit, short one error, and inning. one left on. Middle of the fourth, 1909 Pittsburgh has taken a one to nothing Bottom lead. of the fourth. Bill Peskert will lead it off for 1915 Philadelphia in the bottom of the fourth. And here comes the pitch. 3 4 6, a rear play opportunity. 4 1 die, 2. It's just going to be a drill board amount. Petra tries to retire batter. And he is safe. He's the move, and he it. No outs, men on first. The defense is playing in at the corners. David Kraffis. The hitter now with one one and nobody out. A 6-2-6. Six, six. So, a single or home run here. And this ball is going, going. It is gone. Way out of here. And 1915 Philadelphia has just taken a 2-1 lead in the bottom of the fourth. No outs. Base is empty. Here's Fred Luteris now as Philadelphia has gotten on the board and taken the lead. A 1-1 one, one win. One single possible error attempt. 
No error, so it's just a No outs, man on first. The defense is playing in at the corners. And here's Witted. Still nobody out. The runner on first. He's going to lay down a bunt. Two. Sacrifice bunt attempt. And there's a sack bunt and a potential error. There is an error. So that means the batter is still at first as well. The on first no outs. Men on first and second. And Willis the is defense is playing in here at the, in the bottom of the fourth all of a sudden. He's going to lay down a bunt. One. And there's another sack bunt opportunity. attempt here. Lead runner out. Battery safe, and there's still runners on first one out. and second. So Men on first and second. Doesn't go as planned there. And Bill Kilford come up. 2-3-3. Three, three. Ground out. Second base to first base, the runners move up. And there's two outs with runners on two second. Two outs, men on second and third. Still a chance for 1915 Philadelphia to extend their lead here. But Pete Alexander, the pitcher, is coming to the plate. Here's the pitch to Alexander. 2-2-5. Two, two, It is 4-1-1915 Philadelphia. Two outs, man on second. Boy, oh boy, has this unraveled for 1909 Pittsburgh. And Duke Willis here in the bottom of the fourth. Up next is Bobby Byron. Now 5 to 1, 1915 Philadelphia. And now an early hook base run. Two on outs, men on first. And you have to wonder just how long the manager of the 1909 of 1909 Pittsburgh is gonna let him go. I bet he's on a very short leash now. One error, not before and five one left runs on. come across, and 1915 Philadelphia has opened up a five to one lead. Top of the fifth. We go to the top of the fifth inning here. Rick Willis, the hitter, will they let him hit? Yes, they will. Four six three. Grounder to third baseman, an impossible error. Here's the error check, and he is going to be out. So Willis is quickly retired. One out, base is empty. And there's one down. Jack Bolohu, the hitter now. A 1-5-1. One, one. And there's a strike out, two away. Two outs, base is empty. Tommy Leach, the hitter now. 2 five, five. And there's a fly out to left field. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. 1-2-3 in the top of the fifth. We're halfway home. And 1915 Philadelphia leads 1909 Pittsburgh. Five Bottom of the fifth. You can check out the out-of-town scoreboard there. To see exactly how things are going in the other games around the league here tonight. We will be featuring another one of these other matchups in our next broadcast, so stay tuned for that. It's still to be determined, but I will let you know, or try to let you know as best I can in advance, but it may just be. I let you know on, on the night of the video. So here we go. Vic Willis still out there. 
They're letting him pitch to Paskert here on the top, on the, excuse me, the bottom of the fifth. Paskert steps in, will 4 5 5, ball hits the second baseman. Close play at first. A 2 out of 6 chance that he is safe on this play. There's a 4, he is out, and there's quickly one gone. One out, base a is empty. Bang play there, and there's one away. Gabby Crabb with the hitter. 2 3 6. Fly out to the center fielder, Leach, and there is two away. Two outs, base is empty. Fred Luter is the hitter, and it seems like Willis has settled down here in the bottom of the fifth after that five run bottom of the fourth inning. We will see. Luteris with a 2 4 5, looping drive to left fielder. Outfielder makes pitch. Chris is going to catch it's a 1 2 3 inning. It's a 1 2 3 bottom of the fifth. We are headed to the sixth. Still 5 to 1, 15 Philadelphia. Top of the sixth. the sixth inning hang still five to one but anything can happen there's still time left still baseball to be played in this one Fred Clark is the hitter he rolls a 4-2-1 all hits the shortstop it's a pop out one, one out. out base is empty Jonas Wagner is the hitter now with one out on the top of the sixth. He steps in. A 5 6 three, a ground ball to the shortstop. Throws over to first, and there's two. Two outs, out. space is empty. Two Rolls Miller the hitter now. He steps, Miller steps in. He is currently 0 for 1 on the day today. 3 1 2. Line out to right field. And it's a 1 2 3. And just like that, the, the inning's over. We go to the bottom of the six, 19 15 Philadelphia. Bottom with a of five the five to one lead. And Vic Willis will go back out there for an attempt at a sixth inning here. I just wonder how long we're going to leave him out there in this situation. Down five, down four runs. He's already given up a five-run fourth inning. But Wooden will step in. He is all for one tonight. The two, two, five. And there's a the right field. So he's not one for two. He's got him the hit call. No outs. Man on first. And here comes. Meehoff. But Willis. Oh, excuse me, with it, will try to steal. And he will hold in this situation. No outs, man on he first. He cannot get the jump, and there's still one on and nobody out. Meehoff steps in. A one, four, six. There's a pop out to the shortstop. One out, away. man on first. Kill for the hitter. Kill for the hitter. He's 0 for 2 tonight. A 1 4 1. Ground ball to second base. Second to first double play. No runs. And they get one hit the and none left the on. Sixth. We head to the seventh. 19 15 Philadelphia still holding a 5 to 1 lead. Top of the seventh. Pete Alexander going out there again for the top of the seventh. And here's Bill Epstein the hitter. A 6 2 4. Line drive hit to right field. And there is a the leadoff single. And he's going to try it around first. And he's going to go for two. It's going to be a double. And now he's going to try to stretch it into a triple. And he does. So 1909 Pittsburgh showing some life. No outs. Here. 
Man on third. In the seventh inning. Chief Wilson will step in. He is one for two tonight. With an RBI. <coughs> A five five. Five five five, and that's an infield single. So 1909 Pittsburgh. No outs, man on first. run back, and they're down five to two. Here's that call and five reroll again. Let's see what happens. A pickoff attempt. And he is picked off. And there's one going here in the top of the seventh. That clears the bases. One out, base is empty. And a good way for the pitcher. Not the home runs all the way. <laughs> George Gibson the hitter. He steps in, 0 for 1. Ball pull. And there's a rewalk. So Gibson on with one out here in the top of the seventh. One out, men on first. And will they win? Will they win? Will a sit here? They will. 1 5 4. Right, and three. he strikes out. There's two in the line. Two outs, men on first. Jet or Bo here in the hit. Stepped in and stepping in here. He is one for three in the night. Six four two, and there's a pop out to third base to end one the One run, two hits, the runner, and one left Gibson on. on first. And it is stretch time here in Philadelphia. The score: Philadelphia 1915, Philadelphia five. 1909 Pittsburgh 2. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. I don't care if I ever get that portrait. For the home team, if they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball Bottom of the seventh. Pete Alexander will step in here in the bottom of the fifth. Or excuse me, bottom of the seventh. Will they let him hit? And will they let Willis pitch here? They're letting both happen. Both are happening. 3-3-1. Three, three, and there's a line out to right field. One out, base is empty. Away. Bobby Byron, the hitter. He's one for two on the night. Four, three, two. Ball hit to the shortstop. Possible error on the play. Will the error check? It is an error. And so another base runner reaches on an error that is the fourth error of this game. Both teams have one out. Men on first. Four errors, two apiece right now. And here's Dave Benford. A 2-4-1. Looping drive to center field. And there's a fly out. Two away. Two outs, man on first. Joe Pascar to here. 6-3-3. And there's a drive deep to left field. No runs, no hits, one error, and track, one left on. And the inning is over. We are ahead of the eighth. It is 19-15 Philadelphia 5, 1909 Pittsburgh 2. Top of the eighth. Well, this one, looking like it may be over as 1909 Pittsburgh is down to their last six outs in this one, but anything can still happen. Tommy Leach will step in. Here's a 2-5 run, and he strikes out, and there's one away. One out, base is empty. His pitch well tonight. 
That's his fifth strikeout of the night. He has only walked three. Fred Clark is the hitter. A six by five, and there's a pop out to the third baseman. And two up, two down here in the eighth. Two outs, bases empty. So now 1909, Pittsburgh is down to their final four outs here. Horace Wagner is the hitter. A 2 5 5, and there's a fly out to left field. And they go down quietly, nothing doing this happening. Quietly in the eighth. We're ahead of the bottom, bottom of the eighth. eighth. Still 5 to 2. look at this game here real quick. As 1912 Boston has defeated 1908 Cleveland 4 to nothing, a one hitter for Wood. He goes to 1 and 0 on that and he's 1 and 0 on that. He goes the distance. In that one, a one hitter shutout for 1912 Boston. So back to the game here. Alexander still out there on the mound. Will they let him try to pitch the ninth as Miller steps in? 3-6-1, right-handed pitcher, leaping catch by the shortstop, and there is one down. One ninth. out, base is empty. Bill Epstein, the hitter. A 4-6-4, ball hit to the shortstop. He throws. 
Throws over to first. And 1909 Pittsburgh is down Two out, space is empty. Out very quickly here in the ninth inning. And that last one will be Chief Wilson stepping in. And here's the pitch to Wilson. He is two for three on the night. A 5-6-2, and that's a ground ball to first. And he is out and he wins is the game. Over. From all of us at Replay Games, thanks for playing. Nineteen fifteen Philadelphia wins this one five to two easily. Alexander gets the win. He is one and zero. The losing pitcher is Rick Willis. Willis he goes zero and one, and the MVP has to go to Pete Alexander. One. So 19, oh, 1915 Philadelphia gets a 1-0 start in 1909 Pittsburgh. It's going to have to come up with a way to win the next game of this series and get back on level terms in this series. We're going to take you over to this one. And now right let's here. get an update from you know? Chicago. Here's the top of the night in 1915 Chicago of the Federal League has a 19 goals, has a 3-0 lead on 1906 Chicago. And the top of the ninth with two outs. So 1906 Chicago down to their final out here. So we're gonna watch and see what happens here. Tinker steps in. And he pops up to third base, and this one is over as well. So 1915 Chicago Federal League. Wins the game. From all of us at Replay Games, thanks for playing. Wins it three to nothing. A five hit shutout for them. George McConnell is the winning pitcher. He is 1 0. The long scores from Mordecai Brown. He is now 0 1. And George McConnell is the MVP of this one. And there is injuries in this entry report. William Fisher injured for two games. And Raleigh Zilder injured for two games as well for the Federal League Chicago. So there is injuries to deal with there for them. Now an update from now. Cincinnati. As these games slowly become official on the night. Hot Eller, the pitcher here on the top of the ninth for 1919 Cincinnati. Marvin, Marvin, Marvinville, the hitter from 1914 Boston. Nobody on, one out. 1919 Cincinnati with a 3-0 lead. The 5-2-1. Drill ball to first. Base. And he is out. And they are down to their final out. 1914 Boston. Down Two to outs. Base is empty. Out here tonight. And here's Smith. 6-5-2, deep fly out to the field of the wind, and the ball game, the game is over. From all of us at Replay Games, 19, thanks for playing. Cincinnati defeats 1914 Boston, 3-0, a four-hit shutout for them. The winning pitcher, Hot Eller, he is 1-0. Dick Rudolph is the loser, he goes 0-1. Hot Eller, the MVP of the game. For this one. So in the games that have gone final so far, 
The pitcher has been Ben. The start of the one pitcher has been the MVP. There is injury in the courts in this one. John Evers injured for one game for 19-14 Boston. For 19-19 Cincinnati. Jake Dumbert injured for one game, so he'll be out one game. Now let's head out to Brooklyn for a replay update. We go to 1916 Brooklyn. Now we go to Brooklyn for this one. One out in the top of the ninth, 1916 Brooklyn with a slim 2-1 lead on 1912 New York. And 1912 New York has Murray on second. So a little cardiac maybe here. As Herzog steps in. Ground ball to first, and he is out. Murray moves to third. Two outs, men on third. 90 feet away from tying up this game, but there's two gone here now. And Chief Myers will step in as the final hope for 1912 New York here in this one. And the pitch. 3-2-5. And there's a line out to shortstop, and that ends the game. 1916 Brooklyn has won it. Wins a close one. Two to one. Goodbye, everybody. It is your final here tonight. The winning pitcher is Jeff Pfeiffer. He's 1-0. Drew Marquardt is the loser. He goes to 0-1. And Pfeiffer is your MVP. There is no injuries, fortunately, for either of these teams. Now so let's now join the action in Washington. To Washington here as 1909 Detroit dominating this one over 1912 Washington, five to nothing in the bottom of the eighth. And keep an eye on that other game there in Philadelphia, and we will take you to it as soon as it gets to the bottom of the ninth. That looks like a close one, maybe. Dan Mulder, the hitter. A 2-2-5, two, two, and there's a single to right field to be off the bottom of the eighth. No outs, men on first. Hey Foster now the hitter. He is 0 for 2 on the night. 4 4 1. Ball hit to third baseman. Fielder's glove. It's out of his glove. And there's runners on first and second here. No outs. Men on first and second. Clyde Milan the hitter. A 3 2 1. Dribbler to catcher. Runner on second is out at third, so they get the lead runner. One out. One out. Men on first and second. 1912 Washington trying to get some of these runs back here in the eighth. And we're going to take you over to this one. And now an update from ninth. Philadelphia. With one out. And a runner on first. For 1911 Philadelphia. And 1904 New York has a two to one lead. Here's Driss Lord. 3 2 5, and now we're a single ballpark effect. And this will be a definite out. A fly out to left field, two down, and 1911 Philadelphia is down. Two the outs, final men out on here first. Tonight. Almost drunk is the hitter. 2-3, fly out to right field to end the ball game. New York, wins a nail fighter. For New York. From all of us at Replay Games, thanks for playing. Philadelphia, 2-1 in this one. The winning pitcher, Jack Chesbrough. The loss just goes to Jack Combs. To a Jack Chesbrough being the MVP in this one. There is one injury report for 1904 New York. Jimmy Williams injured for one game, so he'll be out for one game. And so we only have one game. And now an 
update from to Washington. Here, to take care of and get final. And he's still in the bottom of the eighth. Runners on first and second. And here's Shanks. A 6-6-1. Six, six, Single over field. There was four to one. And there's runners on the corners. It's 5-1. to one. Two outs. Men on first and third. Here's George McBride on this steal attempt could be on here. It's a stolen base. So there's runners on second and third. Two outs, men on second and third. This deficit here in the bottom of the eighth. George McBride steps back in. Two for three on the day. And he strikes out. And that is the inning. We go to the ninth. One run, one Detroit. hit, and two left on. Leads 19-12 Washington, 5-1. Top one. of the ninth. They're making the call to the bullpen. And Joe Ingle will come in and pitch now for 19-12 Washington as they try to keep this score 5-1 here in the top of the ninth. Jim Del Monte, the hitter, to lead things off. So Engel has one batter as he has been ejected from this ball game. And here's Paul Nurse Mercer. Mercer. And the runner is going to hold. There will be oh, look, there might be a stolen base attempt. They don't know who there is, and he is safe at second. No outs, man on second. Crawford steps back in, runner on second. 4 1 2, ball hits the second baseman. Over to first, Delhunty moves up to third. There's one out. One out, man on third. They brought the infield in. And here's George Moriarty. A 2 6 1. Looping drive to center field. Ballpark effect. It's more likely an out unless unless the six is rolled. It is a six and one scores. So an RBI single in a six and one nineteen oh nine Detroit. One out, men on first. Davy Jones, the hitter. The one, two, one. Right. And he strikes out right. two to one with no one still standing on first. Two outs, men on first. Germany, Schaefer, the hitter. A 1 2 5, and he strikes out. And we go to the bottom of the ninth. One run, Nine one hit, and Detroit. one left on. Looks bottom of the ninth. One, 6 to 1, they lead 19 12 Washington. And here's Germany Schaefer again, now for 19 12 Washington. There's a ball hit to the third baseman. Grounder over the first. One out, base is empty. Out. One down here in the bottom of the ninth. No one will try to finish this out. John Henry is the hit. A 3 3 1. Out or a single ballpark effect. This is going to be an out. And that's a fly out to center, two away. And 19-12 Washington is down to the last Two outs, hole. base is empty. And the pitcher's supposed to bat, will they let him? They're going to use a pinch hitter. They're going to pinch hit here. 
here. John Flynn will be the pitch pinch hitter here for the pitcher. With two outs in the bottom of the ninth, so I'm not surprised if they go to a pinch hitter. Will it work for them here? A 6-2-6. Six six. Here is his double into the corner, so it does work. And they stay alive here in the bottom of the ninth. Two, with two outs, outs. Man on second. Dan Moeller, the hitter now. With Flynn taking his lead at second. Moeller, one for four tonight. And here comes the pitch. A 5 2 1. A fly out to right field. And this one is in the books. Wins the game. 1909 Detroit. Goodbye, is everybody. 1912 Washington. 6 to 1 here tonight. The winning pitcher is George Mullen. He is 1 0. The loss goes to Bob Groom. He is 0 1. George Mullen is the MVP of the game. 41909 Detroit. Germany Schaefer injured for one game. John Henry injured for four games for 1912 Washington. And that does it for the night. Opening night in the books for Diamond Decades Dead Ball Season. Let's go have a look. At the final scores in this one, as you can see, some pretty good games here tonight. In case you missed it, here are the final scores again. 1904 New York defeats 1911 Philadelphia 2-1. 1912 Boston shuts out 1908 Cleveland 4-0, a one-hitter in that one. 6-1, 1909 Detroit defeats 1912 Washington. 1915 Chicago blanks 1906 Chicago. 3-0, 1915 Chicago from the Federal League getting their first win of the season. 5-2 in, in our game of the night, 1915 Philadelphia defeated 1909 Pittsburgh 5-2. 19, 1916 Brooklyn defeated 1912 New York 2-1 and 1913 Cincinnati defeated 1914 Boston 3-0 a four hit shutout there and that is how this opening night is played out here tonight a look ahead at what's coming to you on the next day 1904 New York at 1911 Philadelphia. Game two of that series. Game two of the series between 08 Cleveland and 1912 Boston. Game two of the series between 1909 Detroit and 1912 Washington. Opening night for 1914 Indianapolis and 1919 Chicago. Those teams will play their first game of the year. 1909 Pittsburgh will face 1915 Philadelphia in Game 2 of that series. And 1914 Boston and 1919 Cincinnati will play Game 2 of their series. Looks like some good ones. Coming up on Day 2 of the season. I really hope you guys have enjoyed tonight, but before we do sign off, Let's go back to our replay daily. Play of the day, Gavy Kravath. The play of the day took place in the game between 09 Pittsburgh and 1915 Philadelphia. And Baker Bull in on Thursday. Bottom of the fourth. 15 Philadelphia. Batting man on first. Nobody out. Trailing one to nothing. Gavi Kravis hits a two run home run. And that put them ahead. And they never looked back since. The 
the game of the day as voted by the fans was played at Shibe Park in a exciting AL American League game 1909 or excuse me maybe 04 um, New York overcame 1911 Philadelphia 2-1 to one. let's see what that game was I want to make sure I get this one yeah 04 New York overcame 1911 Philadelphia 2-1 to one. please bear with me the print is kind of small on my screen so I am trying to get it right so that is opening night as you see the standings such as they are off on the left and right sides of the screen not really something that we really need to look at this early on at this point I am um, I'm hoping to do another one soon it's just gonna depend upon uh, who is streaming when because like I said I want to participate in other streams so I want to be sure to be able to join others in their stream and hang out with everybody in the community so I will try to do one hopefully every night but if not every night every other night and again at the convenience of others so I will continue looking forward to more of Diamond Decades Dead Ball season this was only opening night we still have a long way to go on this season so I hope you have enjoyed opening night be sure to hit that like button subscribe if you're new to the channel leave a comment if you think there's anything I could do better because I'm always looking for the constructive criticism like with that first test video my bad on the sound I hope it's a lot better tonight I I turned it way down and maybe way down so let me know if it's too low um, other than that thank you very much and have a great night good night everybody